Hi YouTube, this is Purses and More, and I'm back with another video. First, I want to go ahead and thank you all for joining me today, and I want to wish you all a happy New Year's in the new year 2024. So let's go ahead and get started on this video. So I went ahead and transformed these three wallets into cash envelope systems, and I want to share with you how I did that. In case those of you are interested in doing the same with a wallet that you might have. So let's go ahead and get started. I do have this blanket here as I prop, like, to prop up these wallets here. So let me go ahead and share with you the first one. Now this coach wallet here, my phone does not fit in here. It's considered a tech wallet because it has a phone spot. However, my phone, which I'm recording on currently, has an OtterBox case, which is rather thick, and it does not fit in the spot that is designated for the phone. So when you go ahead and open it here like this, as you can see, I have not used this wallet. However, when you open it like this, it has the smooth leather, and this is the peach color, and I thought this was absolutely beautiful, and I still do. I still think this is absolutely beautiful. However, my phone does not fit in this spot here because it's too thick. So as I was perusing YouTube, I came across a couple different videos where people have transformed their wallet into cash envelope systems. And the one person, if I can remember her video, I will link it down below, or at least her channel name. I'll look for it um, and I'll share that with you. The wallet that she transformed was a cross grain leather on the inside, not a smooth leather. And she went ahead and she poked holes in her leather, which I do not want to do. And she was able to put her binder system in there. I don't want to do that. So I went ahead and came up with this idea here. Now, this is a binder uh, that I got from Amazon. It's a personal ring. It has the six rings there. And what I did was I connected it on this piece of leather. And I went ahead and put snaps on there as well. So let me go ahead and share with you how this looks in here. So what I did is I measured, as you can see, I line it up there. And I just take the nice smooth leather on the back of the wallet and I snap it in place. And actually I did put that in sort of upside down. Let me go ahead and fix that. Because the way I have it, I want the I want the, where I snap it, I want the flap, and I'll show you. So when I put this on the back, I want this bottom flap here to face down. So let me go ahead and rebutton that. And this isn't um, this is just a piece of leather. You can do this. Pretty much with anything if you want to use velcro if you want to use a piece of sturdy um, canvas or whatever you want to use and you if you have the snaps that you can snap there all you would have to do is attach your binder system there and now it is a cash envelope wallet where i can close it like this and secure it now i have not made my envelopes yet for these little rings here but I did make them for the other two, and I'll show you what those look like here. So if I want to go ahead and take the binder, like my envelopes, out of there, I can. And it's not going to do anything to the wallet, because this edge here, where it sticks up, as well as this edge down here where it sticks up, it does not interfere with the binder mechanism. So when you close it, yes, it's a little bit bulky, but it's not going to ruin the wallet. I don't know if you can see that very well. I know it flares out on the sides like that, and that's just the nature of the wallet. Um, and you can see it kind of does push in on there, but that's probably because I have this foam piece. Let me take this foam piece out. But what I plan on doing as well is putting my receipts in here or maybe some cash in there. Let me just take, let me take that off of there so I can show you. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Let me go ahead and close it again. I kind of have to line it up. And as you can see, it doesn't 
um, it's more malleable now see because I don't have that foam piece in there and this matches well it actually the color of this leather actually looks really nice with this wallet and if I want to tuck this in and put my coin in here and then if I want to tuck this strap in I can I can just tuck it in like that I want to put it in my purse and there you go see it looks a lot better that way so now I have a place for my coin right here I guess I just lost my stuff from under the floor I have a place for my coin right there I have a place for maybe receipts right here cards here which are gonna be behind all of my envelopes and I have a place here for maybe some cash if I want to take on um, if I don't want to sort through my envelopes in the store I can take my cash out of there and stick it in there for my set envelopes if I want to go into a particular store my cash will be there or I can just unsnap this and get my cash out so I thought that was really nice and I like how that looks. And if I don't want to have the binders, the binder mechanism, I can just take that off of there. And because this is smooth leather in here, I didn't want to, I'm not going to store this in there. I'm only going to use this whenever I plan on having my cash envelopes in there. So it doesn't mark up the smooth leather on each side. Okay, so let me go ahead and take that off. It's relatively simple. And there you go. And having the leather on the back side of this binder mechanism allows it to close open and close really nicely. And I'll share with I'll share with you the other two and what I've done there uh, and how the mechanisms open and close. So that's this wallet here. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next one. The next one is similar to this one because this one is the Sofiano cross grain i want to say soft yarn and maybe it's just cross grain leather this is another coach wallet i got this one off of poshmark or macari and i did the same thing and i had some pink leather left um, from a project that i was working on so i went ahead and made a strap with some snaps for my envelopes and this one has been used um, so it's more malleable and as you can see I have my binder mechanism there and I did make some envelopes that I can switch out from here or here. And this one has the cross grain leather. So I have a spot there for receipts or cash and my binder mechanism is there. And I have a place for my, for my coin in behind all of my envelopes. I have this little page lifter I made and then I have a spot for all my cards. And my idea if I need to. So some of the envelopes that I made, I have an eating out, family fun spending, gifts, thrifting because we like to go thrifting sometimes. I'm going to skip the next envelope because it's my personal spending envelope. I'm going to save up for a Louis Vuitton agenda so that's what that one's for and I even have a little picture of the agenda right there on my envelope I thought that was cute and then if I want to save up for anything that's Louis Vuitton possibly and of course I'm not going to show you my children's names or my husband's name so I'm going to skip all of those envelopes here the next envelope is travel. If we want to do something with travel, we want to take a trip and then that's it. So those are some of the envelopes that I have in this wallet. And as you can see, they work out really well and it's pink and I like this and it's going to go with a lot of my handbags that I have. So that's what this one looks like in the cross grain leather. And this one I really like too because of the fact that it's cross grain leather and these binder clips, I need, my little binder thing could be tighter. However, it, it does make, a, as you can see, it's making an indent, but that doesn't bother me at all. It's just, I guess I gotta look for my little button. But it snaps really good and it works out really well. 
let me go ahead and put my little strap in there so it's not um, all over the place. Now, let me go ahead and share with you this one here. Now, this one is a Daisy Rose, and it is a zip around wallet. And I did this one similar, but I put the envelope system in here. And it's just going to be different than the other two because it's a zip around. So I bought this one off of Macari or Poshmark. And you can still find these. But as I open it like this, and the way I have it positioned, I open it that way. And so I open it this way. So what I did was I took the idea from one of the other YouTube videos that I watched. And I cut where the gusset was. And as you can see, I did use a pair of scissors though because I started using an X-Acto knife and it wasn't working out as well as I wanted it to. So I went ahead and tried to get as close to the um, stitching as I could with scissors. And it worked out fine. It's not that big a deal to me. This is where my coins are going to go. Easy access. There's a slot right here for cash. I can put some cards here if I want. And then I have my envelopes here. I have a page lifter that I made. And then on this side is other cards. And I have a spot here for cash or receipts. And I have cards here that are hidden behind my envelopes. Now, this one's different, as you can see. Um, this one's silver hardware. I could not find one in gold. But I like this because I went ahead and used Velcro. Now, I used Velcro. The Velcro that the people on YouTube used was off of Amazon. I used one from Walmart. But as I'm trying to pull to show you, I can feel it lifting. Let me just see if I can... Hold on. Okay. Let me share with you what I did. Okay, I was able to get that off. Now, I was concerned because when I started pulling at that, the ends here started lifting. Now that would that's not going to come off because what I did was I secured my binder mechanism onto the velcro with the with these screws here as you can see. Now when I did that this binder mechanism is a little bit challenging to open versus this here because the glue on the velcro is stick is stuck on the back of where the binder clips are so when you open it it inhibits it it inhibits it a tiny little bit. Now, I put Velcro on there and on the back of here. Now, this is the, the rough edge. This is the soft edge. And then I went ahead and lined it up. Let me go ahead and do this off, of cam off camera because I got to be able to see what I'm doing here. All right. So I lined it up on there. I centered it and I pushed down my Velcro, okay? And when I go to open it, see it's a little bit... It's hard to do it when I'm holding it up in the air. It doesn't move as quite as freely as this one because of the leather. So if you wanted to put your binder system onto a piece of leather and bolt it down first and then take the leather piece and that's what you would put your Velcro on, that's probably what I'll do with my next one, but we'll see because I need to try it out first. So there again, I have these envelopes, family fun spending, eating out. I just have to make sure that I don't have, show any names. Gifts, thrifting, much the same as what I had in my other envelope. On this Louis Vuitton envelope, I did not put the agenda. Make sure I don't show any of my children's names. And travel. I, I have an envelope for each one of my children in here. So that way I can save money for them. And then when we go out, if they want to see something they like, then we can take and pull from their envelope. Okay, so as I open this, I, I could have cut the gusset on this side up here and then had this envelope behind or this coin pouch behind my envelopes but I didn't want to do that. If I still want to do that though 
I can just turn my wallet this way, turn my envelopes the opposite way and have that to where I can have my envelope in the front of this zipper pocket. I didn't really want to do that though and have my coins back here because when I pay for something, I want to be able to have access to my coins um, more readily. And this feels better in my hand with the Daisy Rose emblem back here. So for my preference, this is what I prefer. And if you have a Daisy Rose wallet or a wallet that's similar to this one and you want to change it into a cash envelope wallet, you can. And you can just decide you can decide what side you want your envelope and things envelopes and your zipper pocket to be on. So it zips up really nicely and that's what this one looks like. So I hope this has helped anyone who is looking forward to doing a cash envelope system in the coming year. That's something that you're interested in. I will try to link or at least share the videos that I um, got these, these ideas off of in my description box. My way is just a little bit different than what they've done. The one person had um, actually taken a Louis Vuitton wallet and cut the Louis Vuitton wallet on the inside and changed it into a cash envelope system. I mean, if that's what you want to do, that's fine. You do you. Do you. Uh, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to spend that kind of money. I went ahead and took what I had and went on Poshmark and got something that wasn't that expensive um, to do that with. And this little blanket that you see here, I just purchased from the Dollar Tree in the $5 section. It is Valentine's. They have their Valentine's um, items out. I do have a small Valentine um, collection started and I could share that with you all if you're interested. But for right now, it's all about these wallets and the new year. So I hope you all have a fantastic 2024. And I thank you for watching my videos. And as always, I hope you have a good evening and I will talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.